Hey everybody, this is Justin, and uh, I uh, just wanted to show you what I've got going on here at the bench at home. Uh, one thing I've been working on is this uh, 1949 Teletone television set, <clears throat> and it's uh, a restoration for a customer, and uh, it... Uh, when he brought it in, it had been uh, previously used as a part set, so the picture tube was missing on it, and someone had clipped off the socket here that goes to the picture tube, so that one I had to splice in, and and uh, so that's okay. All the caps have been replaced here, all the, those yellow bits there are new capacitors and when I say caps that's just a kind of an abbreviation for capacitors uh, so I've got this thing on the bench and it uh, it's got an issue and I've been over and over and over this thing trying to figure out why there is no horizontal deflection and I'll show you what's going on let me plug this in this Cam I wish this thing had a wider angle on it, but it doesn't. Okay. Let's see if it's turned on here. We got, yes, we're lighting up. We're starting up. So we got some audio there. And there's our picture, all three inches of it. And uh, I know it's in the horizontal drive. It's like the horizontal oscillator is not running or something. The vertical seems to be okay, although it is short. Uh, and the picture tube is good. It tested good in a different set, different chassis. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. I'm down to the point where I need to go back over the schematic and make sure, check point to point, and make sure I put all of the capacitors in the right place. So that, uh, that'll be fun. And, uh, other than that, let me turn this off here. got another uh, customer's unit here. It's a radio for a 1954 Chevy truck. And he just wants it working with the original AM electronics restored. That's not a problem. It's a 6-volt radio. And <laughs> here's what's left of the speaker connection. It was just a hardwired coaxial... Mm, sort of affair. So, let's see if I could pop this open with one hand. Almost. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, here we are. Uh, this thing is just, it's so original. I mean, these tubes look like they've never been replaced. Most of them are original Delco tubes. And this output tube has dust that's literally caked onto it from the heat, so. And, I mean, look at this filter capacitor. It's got dirt that is cooked onto it and that shouldn't even be running hot enough to bake the dirt onto it so that is a uh, not a good sign but I have to take this thing the rest of the way apart on the front to get to the bottom of the electronics uh, from what I can see through the vent holes I can see the original wax capacitors in there that are going to have to be replaced so that's not a big deal these are actually very simple radios uh, 
but it should be a straightforward thing. Replace this vibrator with a solid state one. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for now.